Good morning. On your screen is a live view of our Fusion 2 rocket at Pad 01B at the National Space Center in Eurasia. I'm Matthew White, a booster technician at Fusion Space and I'll be hosting today's webcast for the second demonstration flight of Fusion 2 Renewed Edition. We are currently on schedule for an on-time liftoff at 10.30 a.m. local and have encountered no issues during the countdown this morning. Today's flight will not be carrying a payload because we are testing out systems on our vehicle and do not wish to threaten the safety of any customer payloads. Two weeks ago we launched the first Fusion 2 Renewed Edition rocket from this very same pad, let's take a look at that mission in more depth. Fusion 2 lifted off from Pad 01B on November 1st at 15.30pm local time, successfully completing several ascent milestones including, hitting Max-Q and stage separation. The second stage successfully ignited the single airless 2 engine marking the first time this engine was ever fired in a vacuum however. An oxygen leak in one of the two propellant feed lines caused an uncontrolled roll of the stage, and engine performance issues ultimately leading to the breakup of the rocket. Fusion Space has since made fixes to the second stage in coordination with CASA. The first stage made a successful boost back burn and entry burn as seen with previous missions and successfully controlled its descent using updated fins at the top of the stage. During the landing burn however several engines failed to ignite due to a degradation of igniters in the slightly updated airless engines. This was a previously known problem and the igniters have been tweaked for better performance during flight operations. Today's flight profile is similar to that of the last flight with the exception of the second stage burn which is now split up into two phases to test the relight capability of Airless 2. Additionally we'll be performing multiple relight tests after getting into orbit to further test Airless 2. This is in preparation for our next launch which will carry the lunar rock sample return lander. We are so excited to be launching this mission and you can stay up to date on our Twitter page. As the countdown progresses ahead of launch, we are still looking good for liftoff today. Propellant loading is scheduled to wrap up at T, 6 minutes as expected. Propellant loading complete. Fusion 2 is now loaded with all the propellant required for today's flight. At T-5 minutes we'll see the strong back arms begin to release the rocket and slowly start moving away in preparation for liftoff. Stromback retract has started. You can see it live there on your screen. The strong back arm is moving in preparation for liftoff in just under 5 minutes from now. All systems and the weather are green and we are not expecting to hold at any point in the count. At T-30 seconds we'll get the go for launch from the launch director and if all goes well, Fusion 2 will launch to space.
Flight computer taking over. Go for launch. Fusion 2 is go. Let's watch as Fusion 2 heads to space for the sixth time this year. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off of Fusion 2. Vehicle pitching down range. Elis chamber pressure is nominal. Twenty-five seconds into the flight of Fusion 2. All engines are running on the first stage as we head down range. Next up is maximum aerodynamic pressure. Fusion 2 power and telemetry nominal. going supersonic and we've just passed through max Q. Everything continues to look great as we head uphill. Now coming up in around one minute is stage separation. We'll see the second stage ignited its airless engine as the first stage begins its boost back burn, putting it on path for a splashdown in the water. Power and telemetry nominal. Nico. Stage separation. Eolus to ignition. Boost back startup. All right. We have a booster on its way back down. And a second stage on its way to orbit. Fairing separation. You also just saw a gorgeous view of the fairings being jettisoned from the second stage. Everything continues to look perfect during today's mission. Boost back shutdown. And now that boost back burn has just ended, the booster will spend the next minute or two coasting down back into the atmosphere where it'll start its entry burn. This'll help to slow the booster down and bring it on target. Booster FTS is saved. Second stage nominal trajectory.
Siku. Entry Burn Startup. Entry Burn Shutdown. All right, you just saw the second stage shut down its engine after completing its first burn of the day. It'll now coast for the next 15 minutes. The booster also completed its entry burn. You can see it now using its fins to get itself into position for descent and landing. We should be coming up on that landing burn now. We'll ignite 8 engines for the start of the burn and transition down to 6 engines for that final splashdown. Booster landing burn startup. Nominal chamber pressures. Landing leg deployed. Landing burn shutdown. Successful splashdown. We've completed today's major test objectives with 100% success. The second stage is still in its coast phase and is expected to do the first relight in 13 minutes. That'll end today's webcast and we'll continue to update you all on the progress using our Twitter account. We'd like to thank you all for joining us today for this launch and we'd also like to congratulate our teams on the successful flight. See you next time and have a great day.